Welcome back everybody. This is part two of the Browning Automatic 5 or the Browning A5. Um, if you want to go back and look at the first video on this restoration project, I'll put it in a link down below in the description so you can uh, take a glance and see what the shotgun looked like before I sent it off. Now uh, just to rehash uh, what I said in the first video just a little bit this is a 1952 uh, FN Browning automatic 5 12 gauge and uh, I received it in pretty rough condition it'd been uh, hammered on with the screws were all bunged up there was a chip out of the stock and I decided that I wanted to restore it and so I sent it to one of the most well-known, probably one of the best, to my knowledge, uh, Browning Restorers, Art Isaacson of Art's Gun Shop, Hillsboro, Missouri. And uh, the only reason I mention his name is because they did a top-of-the-line perfect job on it, um, particularly considering what they began with. So I'll just bring the gun up here and we'll do a, some quick... Uh, close-ups of it and let you decide what you think if it was worth it or not. I indeed think it was. Um, for the price of a new nice shotgun I ended up with a top-of-the-line over-the-top collector's item that uh, of course this, these Belgium made Brownings uh, not made anymore and the A5 in this configuration is not made anymore. The new A5s are a uh, completely different gun even though externally they look about the same um, this is quite a bit heavier than the new ones and in my opinion I'd rather have this one than a new one just from a collector standpoint as you know I'm a collector so let me bring it up here and show you some of what they did to it now uh, in the first video of course it's been beautifully refinished on the stock uh, there was a quite a large chip out of the stock here as well as many gouges many uh, scrapes you can see they did a very fine job the color of it is just slightly lighter than it was originally and the gloss is just slightly less than it was before but it's still very nicely done you can see the bluing there's a few smudges on it, it has a coat of oil and a little bit of dust right now but uh, the screws have all been repaired, or rather replaced or repaired. The checkering had to all be recut because of the refinishing done on the stock. You can see the beautiful grain popping out. Now this is a kind of a low end browning. You can see some of those smudges, but the bluing is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the front sight was originally missing got dog hair on it dog has been exceptionally clean today due to the fact he's not feeling got an upset tummy so he's laying around me getting hair on everything but let me flip it over here bump the camera while i'm doing it and show you how nicely done the firearm is All polished up internals look fantastic in it. They replaced all the springs. Again, that's a hair, it's not a scratch. So I'm sure it'll function fine. I haven't had a chance, of course, I just received it yesterday. There's some more dog hairs. I haven't had a chance yet to test the firearm out and in fact I'm kind of scared to in the fact that it's such an impressively beautiful firearm now and collector's item. As you can see to the untrained eye pretty much undetectable from an original 
gun that would be in this shape. In other words, it's like a brand new Browning 1952, like it would have been out of the box. Uh, you can see the triggers just blued. Does not have the gold trigger that the uh, higher end one was. Sorry about all the dust that's already all over it. So there we go. There's the results of the fine workmanship done by um, Art and his crew. Highly recommended. So the, thanks again for watching and I uh, encourage you to go back and look and see like I said on the first video so you can see exactly how much work they really did uh, on this uh, on this project thanks for watching